Hello guys, Haruna here. In this video, we are going to look at basic Cisco router configuration for beginners. To do that, I have GNS3 emulator installed on my PC, and that's the screen you're seeing right now. This emulator has a Cisco router with real iOS image running on it, and uh, it is connected to my Windows 10 PC which is also this laptop I'm using at the moment. So what we have here is just a router that has a fast Ethernet interface connected to a PC. This Windows 10 PC also has an interface, which is a Ethernet interface as well. and the focus is going to be on the Cisco IOS command line interface. So let's uh, start this router. You just right click on it and go to start. You can see now it's green. It means it is running. This light is green. It means the router is running. So all we need to do is uh, go to the console of the router. If you have any questions on how to have this setup running on your PC, you can drop a comment so I'll help you as much as I can. So let's see. Let's go to the console. Okay. This is the console of the router. Let me just make this uh, let me increase the font to make it a little bit bigger for you to see appearance change i'm trying to change the font okay to bold apply okay i think we can work with this or let's even make it uh, appearance and let's see just uh, okay so let's work with this now so this is the command prompt the router interface this is what you see when you log in via console so I have this uh, CCNA curriculum, the new one, that's uh, version 3. And this, like some of the things we're going to take a look at, like setting the host name, setting a local user and password, enable secret password, and assigning IP addresses to interfaces. And I know, although we have only one interface. Okay, let's just jump right into it first thing is to move to the global configuration mode you use configure terminal that's uh, the command that takes you to global configuration mode where you can change host name you can assign passwords and you can create a new user so let's change let's start with the host name let's change the host name of this router to say um maybe test test router you can see the host name has changed from router to test router and uh, let's uh, set a password let's set enable secret password enable secret let's uh, set a password let's say the password is uh, password at at one that's our enable secret then what else? So now we've changed our hosting, we've set a password, secret password. Let's create a new user. You use the username command, username, let's say Harun, and uh, password, let's say password at two. So we've set a username, we've set a password for the user Harun so 
let's okay enable to create console and vty logins if you're using a physical device you need to access the router via the console port and you can also enable uh, some form of authentication for that to do that you go to the console say line console zero then or first before you use the password you say login the login command enables authentication so but we need to set the password first so let's say password our password should be let's say console one then you enable authentication after setting the password we've enabled edit authentication and we can use the exit command to go back to the global configuration mode then we can set vty passwords for telnet access so let's say um line line vty like five lines let's set a password for this line you can say telnet pass let's say telnet pass one and uh, login to enable authentication let's let's exit from so so far we've um, changed the host name created a user assigned a password to the user and uh, we've enabled the password okay we can also do this password encryption service password encryption encrypts the password that has been set so service password encrypt okay there is a hyphen service password encryption we've enabled that as well you can use a uh, tab just like any other shell you can use tab to auto complete a command or you can use a question mark to give you a list of possible commands let's say if i use a question mark here you can see it has a long list of commands that can be used in global configuration mode so it's a very long list you use spacebar to scroll down quickly okay so now um, we've set the console and vty logins service password encryption so now let's set a uh, interface ip address this router currently has um, it it has fast ethernet interface zero slash zero and other interfaces so we can check as well let's say you get into the console the cli and you're just wondering how many interfaces you have or the type of interfaces you can use show ip interface brief command okay show ip interfaces show i didn't use show ip interface brief it's going to list all the interfaces that we have so now we are we're working with fast ethernet zero slash zero so we go back to uh, global configuration mode you got time now and we go to use the interface command to go to the particular interface you want to assign ip address on fast ethernet zero slash zero is the interface we want so we use the ip address command ip address then you assign the ip address you can see on this topology i have here the ip address is just a basic class c ip address 192.168.1.1 slash 24 actually means uh, 255.255.255.0 so 5255 .0 the IP address and the subnet mask so by default the interfaces are shut down so you need to issue out the no shutdown command to bring the interface up so you see we have no shutdown command 
and you bring it brings up the interface so you can see from here it says the link up down the interface was zero it just changed state to up it's up now so let's see we have assigned an ip address and we can also do other things like um, setting uh, banner that's message of the day when you turn on the router and go into the cli displays the message so we can say you use the banner command banner motd message of the day this c is a, a delimiter so you can if you say if you put c then you put your message here let's say welcome um let's say just let's just go with welcome if you hit enter it means it has taken the message welcome when we put this router yeah that banner welcome will be displayed so um now we are done with the interface we have a banner message of the day so what we need to do now is to check the configuration what we've done so far we can do that using the show running config command use show running config it's building the configuration so you can see enable secret you can see um what else okay the host name that we set to test router if you scroll down use spacebar to scroll down you can see the username username harun the password it's encrypted so you can't see the password from here and when you go to the interface you can see the interface fast ethernet zero slash zero that we assigned the ip address you can see that the ip address the other interfaces are uh, shut down because we did not enable the interfaces so if you scroll down um let's go down what what else do we have okay you can see the banner message of the day it says welcome line console we set a password we have login to check for authentication vty for telnet so now let's check uh, let's just test this this router this uh, pc i'm using this windows 10 laptop has i've assigned 192.168.1.2 to the interface that is connected to this router so what we need to do now is uh, just open the console that's my shell on my pc the windows 10 pc okay this is it um let's check with the ip config command so if you check with ip config you can see that let's go to ethernet adapter that's gns3 my gns3 interface i have um the ip address you can see it here 192.168.1.2255 if you have any uh, questions on this just uh drop a comment i'll try my best to answer that so we have you can see we already have this ip address assigned to this windows 10 laptop i'm using here so we can just check we can try to ping to test for connectivity let's try to ping the router let's try pinging the router interface uh that's a 192.168.1.1 hit enter it's trying to ping so it's destination unreachable okay destination destination host unreachable i think we have let's take a look there is something that is not working as it should so i'm going to pause the video and take a look and, and get back okay now um, all i had to do was uh, verify the ip address on my windows pc again so let's ip config so this gns3 
adapter has 1916.1.2 assigned to it and we assigned 1916.1.1 slash 24 to this fast ethernet interface on the router so let's check again with a uh, ping starting from the router we let's ping the windows windows pc which has an ip address of 192.168.1.2 so it's sending five that's sending 100 bytes icmp echoes this this shows that the ping is uh, success we said success rate is 100 percent round trip the time and everything so from the pc from my windows pc let's check as well let's just use uh, ping 192.168.1.1 which is the router interface the fast ethernet zero slash zero interface we are connected to so hit enter you have a reply coming from the router so what we have now is a basic config that has username assigned passwords uh, ip address to the interface and the, to console lines and to v, vty lines as well so that's uh, basically it if you have any issues with setting this up this basic config up just drop a comment so i can help you with that so please do like share the video and subscribe as well for more videos on router configuration and other topics in IT. Thank you for watching.